Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In the last video, I explained three terms to you, which was cash price, cash down payment, and installments. I did not explain rate of interest because I will be doing that as I am explaining the first example. Okay. Example number one. He can enanga. So one hemi million question number three six seven nine. Kat sa wathe ti kasulog doa tusu in a homework aning halbo kanga ah. Um, <clears throat> example number one, uh, yan, a washing machine is available for rupees 12,000 cash or rupees 3,600 cash down payment along with two equal annual installments. If the dealer charges an interest of 10% per annum compounded annually under the installment plan, find the value of each installment. Now over here, we can see that it says compounded annually. Now if it's annually, it means once a year okay so you don't have to make any changes however if the question says semi-annually or half yearly it means two times a year twice a year okay that means whatever rate of interest that they're giving you you have to divide it by two okay if it says um compounded quarterly it means four times in one year okay so you have to divide it by four Mm. Annually ni chan ang matla ka ngay lava Half yearly e mo Semi annually an ti chan ay ang ringa ka Mite panik ka Kung kata avoy ni ti na niya chubang chan Rate of interest ka 2 in can divide do na So an quarterly ni chan Rate of interest ka 3 in can divide ang Okay Now <coughs> Let's First we We should always write down What is given in the question So over here We have First thing is cash price over here is rupees 12,000. Okay. Next, they've given us cash down payment. Cash down payment is rupees 3,600. All right. Now, whenever they give you cash price and cash down payment, you you can always find balance. Oh, balance to be paid. Kan zong li nga lang. Tutsu ing tinge kan siya tang kan ti tsuan. Balance to be paid to cash price sa chang khan. Cash down payment and mag pay ka kan subtract doon ni. Oh, kan minus doon ni. Rupees 12,000 minus rupees 3,600. Okay which is equal to rupees 8,400. All right? Now, you should always write down rate of interest is equal to, in this question, it's 10% per annum. If it says, if it says component annually, then we don't have to do anything else, okay? Now, you should always write in the question, they're asking you value of each installment. And since you don't know that, you will say, let the value of each installment be rupees x. Can shed lo ka x kan ni tiyo don ni Okay? So, one, let p1 and P2 be the present value in brackets principal. Oh, present value tile principal te hian in ang ring ah, respectively of the two installments. Now, in some questions, it says three installments. So, if it says three installments, you have to write P3. Okay? P3 will be the present value for the third installment. Okay? However, in this question, it's only up to two installments. So, you can leave it as, as it is. <clears throat> you should always write, therefore, X, X, T, N, G, it's one installment, G, T, ka, x is equal to p1 1 plus 10 by 100 to the power 1 now p1 is first principle or first present value 
1 plus 10 to a e rate of interest 10 ka oh 10 by 100 to the power 1 1 and in the first installment and you and x is equal to p2 1 plus 10 by 100 to the power 2 now he is second installment can you have that in a thingy x token man can teach one installment to Masa zo ka po nung zo ka po ang ngay ring doon hemi zat hi zo ay nang ring doon. Oh, P2 ero zu, second present value and mo, second principle nito ah. 1 plus rate zu, it's always the same, 10 by 100. 2 ni na chan zu, second installment na ni ibang ni. Okay? Now, if you see 10 and 100 can divide each other. So, 1 0 from here and 1 0 from here will cancel each other out. Similarly, 1 0 and 1 0 will cancel each other out. Okay? So, you will be left with x is equal to p1 1 plus 1 by 10 to the power 1 hit so if you want you can not you don't need to write it okay x is equal to p2 1 plus 1 by 10 to the power 2 okay now you will find lcm for this and you will find out and you will solve that part i don't think i have to do this part in detail I hope you know this much at least. So over here, um, 10 divided by 1 is 10. 10 into 1 is 10. 10 plus 1 divided by LCM will be 10. And x is equal to P2. 10 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 2. Now, if you look at your textbook, these two steps are not written. So um, if you want, you can just skip these two if you understand what's going on, okay? This implies x is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11 by 10 and x is equal to p2 10 plus 1 is again 11 by 10 to the power 2 now this actually means 11 by 10 into 11 by 2 uh, sorry 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 okay i hope you know that much now between p1 and 11 by 10 there is a multiplication sign so if you want to shift these to this fraction into the other side it will become the reciprocal all right so you want to know only p1 this you will shift it to the other side okay so you will have if you want to know only p1 whatever is next to it you shift it to the other side 11 by 10 will become 10 by 11 and x is already there and on the other side okay in chat, yeah, ma'am. Here the 11 by 10. Ka here the tsungo mi ka le lam pangay swan pay chon anhuay a zuk chuka anhuay mi tsunga pa chau tsunga 10 by 11 x aron ni ta tsunga and p 2 zay tapu kan chadu abul mi hi le lam kan swan pay tsunga 10 by 11 square x. Okay. P3 lo ni delta la in tiyan three installments lo ni ta se. And P3 is equal to 10 by 11 to the power 3 x and ibet hungang. Okay? I hope this much is clear. Now moving on. Hey, the balance kan ne is that ka? Balance to be paid ka cash price minus cash down payment ka? Formula dang om le zu. Hey, balance hi. Hey, P1 le P2. Bel kom hi anit hauti na. Okay? Om zia chuan and then P3 lo om delta se to mi bel po to balance ka ni le don thau ti na ni chu okay so the other formula is balances all the principles added together okay all the present values added together so over here we will have thus we have first principle is P1 Plus P2 is equal to balance. Okay? This implies P1 ka inge kan ti chuan he ta hian 10 by 11 kan nei to a. 10 by 11x plus P2 ka inge ka 10 by 11 square x which is equal to balance ka inge ka 8400. Okay? Now, if you look at these two terms, you can see that 10 by 11 is common. X is also common, okay? So, you will take out what is common. 10 by 11 is common in both. Tayhan pakato oma, ta apaniya oma. Tutumizu pakat kan, let's walk doon nito. Oh, 
x is also common you take it out whenever you take something out a common out from two terms you should always open it with an open bracket the next step should always be an open bracket okay 10 by 11 x chang hani lak chwa to chan thimbi pung puya hian exact ngela bang kan ti chuan 1 ti to not 0 okay many people make this mistake please make sure you don't do this 1 la bang don plus ta hian 10 by 11 pakhat kan la to a and we've taken out x what is still remaining another 10 by 11 will remain over here over here you have 8400 all right now 10 by 11 x is here now again you will find LCM, if you find out LCM it will be 11, 11 by 1 is 11, 11 into 1 is 11, so you have 11 plus 10 is equal to 8400, alright? Next step, 11 plus 10 is 21 by 11 which is equal to 8400. Now you want to find out only x, so whatever is next to it you shift it to the other side, okay? x abanga tlampanga hian le la ma chon 8400 alo um sa a 10 by 11 it tlampanga is one page one 11 by 10 ani to thung do na chon he ta mi 21 by 11 hi le la ma is one page one 11 by 21 ani ve to thung do na zero pa khat le zero pa khat i cancel anga 21 le 840 hi ain divide thia 21 ones are 21 21 40 are 840 okay usually Clue ka pemi may tsayong ngahe ta anong pek sa lian noa yami hi tang po yun divide te ha lang o ti te a two a and ba three a te a divide kwa lao kan. So an x is equal to forty into what is eleven into eleven one twenty one. This implies x is equal to so four one is four four two is eight four one is four zero rupees four eight four zero is the value of each installment. Okay. Now, <clears throat> before the answer is done, it's done like that, but I just want to add one thing. Ati rakhan, cash price ka 12,000 alaw ni taa. So, an ingzat nge to pa, so an poisa in pek tak tak ti kan han shoot doon ta ni. Ati rak, 3,000 hei ito extra, extra may may ang ni taa si, oh, 3,600 kai peto po ta. Ati rak, so an installment pa ni ipe bukan ito 4,840 le. 4840 ha ipe ipe bo kan ito 8 ba nga 16 8 9 9680 ha install menin at nuwa ipe le bo ka tira 3600 cash down payment in ipe po ta he may hiya pong po yan nuwa ipe le zat ka ni bo ta han bel dun ta ila mo 8 0 12 9 10 11 12 13 avaya to pa po isa ipe zat 13,218 ita ni now, at tira, pek nga ka zo 12,000 anya. Maseto pa ipo isa pek za ta ka zo 13,218 ni day ta ni. Now, why is that? The reason is, rate of interest ka ron trang kai ta ni ito. Oh, door na ito te ka na tira kaan i po isa tlim te zi a da in an lak ho tir zi a zo vang zo an an tan kaan inge motel la lok na an neve nga ya. Oh, there needs to be some benefit for them as well, which is why in the end, the total amount of money that they actually get, that you actually pay them for the washing machine, is more than the actual cash price, okay? Now, the reason is because there is something which we call rate of interest, okay? So, that is where rate of interest comes in handy. Um, you can do questions, um, question number 3, 6, 7, and 9 using this. However, make sure... Uh, uh, that it's uh, uh, make sure you check the rate of interest if it's uh, compounded annually, compounded half yearly. And here, nan, hitai hikan ziak le lok may may yanga rate of interest si 10% per annum compounded annually in loan dita. Mas compounded semi annually and tits one. And next step, as on tlai te a hian 10 dita lovin 10 by 2% half yearly. Iti ke wanga. Ha, tsan. 2 le, 10 kai i-divide nga 5 alo. So, waka nga 5% na nito doon na tayhan 10 nito lawin 5 ni vewe to doon na tikhan nito kazel doon niya. Oh, so an 3 installments ang tibok. So, an tayhan P2 ni lawin P3 ati lang nga. Heta pon P3 is on vewe ati lang nga doon nito. Oh, P3 ati lang nga. Heta 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 lang nga.
that's all for today's video. I hope it helps and all the best. Okay, bye!